One of the storms that blew through the tri-state overnight was indeed a tornado. That's right. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee reports from Clinton County. A blue tarp covers the damaged section of roof here at the outpost on Route 730 south of Wilmington. The wind shattered the shingles and wood sent pieces flying everywhere. Carla Cox came to work early this morning to find this damage, but others nearby were jolted out of their beds by the storm. Barbara Morris and her family moved into their Ogden house just five weeks ago, but now it needs a makeover. She was sound asleep Thursday morning when her husband's phone barked out a weather warning. I said it was a tornado. She didn't know it at the time, but she was right. The windows began rattling and everything got louder. We heard the, the loud roaring sound and then we opened the garage door and there was no garage. And that's when we knew something had hit. Fortunately, Morris, her husband, son and granddaughter weren't hurt. Unfortunately, there's heavy damage to the house they look two years to find. We're just thanking God that everybody's okay and this can be fixed. The tornado twisted trees. The sound of a chainsaw filled the air. It took down power lines. Crews worked in the hot sun to restring them. This bicycle was reshaped like a pretzel. A trampoline was tossed into a pond. I'd never been worried like that in my life. It was, it was terrible. But two miles down the road, there was nothing. Pat Kerr was sound asleep when a warning siren woke her up, followed by a loud rumbling noise and then cracking and popping sounds. I'm getting out of here. So I headed to, the, to went out of the bedroom, closed the door, went into the bathroom, closed the door. And then uh, uh, it just kept on a roaring. A huge tree crashed into her fence, narrowly missing her garage. It's, it was scary. I mean, I just never heard a noise like that before. I, I can't even describe it. It just was so quick. You know? Damage inside the outpost is extensive. The ceiling was knocked down onto the floor. Insulation hangs like streamers. Repairs are going to take a while. Cleanup continues tonight all along Route 730 as people try to calm their nerves and keep their eyes skyward for the next storm. Tom McKee, 9 on your side, Ogden.